Hello everyone and bl Blackout Gaming TV, welcome. That's the word ordered wrong there, but that doesn't matter. Hello, welcome. It's High Panda versus Electric Dictations. How are you doing today, Kip? I'm doing fantastic, GPS. How are you doing? I am doing super fantastic as well. These two teams are going to be battling it out on two maps, nonetheless. King of the Hill and a 5CP map. Yeah, it looks like we're doing Viaduct, and then I think Gullywash is on the agenda. Uh, should be a good matchup? Question mark. That's what we were saying last week between ET and uh, it's all good. ET, of course, the uh, team from North America that is currently undefeated in UDC Platinum, but they were. How should I say this gently? Um, Man, I think Steam manhandled World? is the. Manhandled. Um, yeah, they get the, It's all good. Yeah. They just attacked and yeah. wasn't stopped. Was basically what happened. Yeah, so that was last week on Steel, and uh, Steel, one of those maps that it come, sometimes can be a fluke. So uh, all North Americans are kind of pulling for ET to kind of recover and really show that uh, North America can participate in a European league, question mark, maybe, but I think definitely well, Hypander is going to give them a run for their money. If a blast from the past is to be mentioned, that is like before America used to be like this behemoth, unbeatable person thing, deity, that could never be beaten under any circumstances. And uh, that was a couple of years ago, but now that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. So I think Europe has kind of evolved and gotten a lot better a lot faster than they did before, because there used to be like this this gap where Americans would just dominate, but that gap isn't so huge anymore and might be gone in some cases. I would counter that this is not the ET team that uh, is currently dominating the uh, UGC Platinum, and this isn't the best uh, group of North Americans that Highlander can put together. I think. And also, let's not forget ping issues, but again, there's uh, just context not justifying anything. So maybe we should, or rationalizing, maybe we should get to the teams and let's meet the players. You probably know a little bit more about High Pander, so go for that. Yeah, of course, High Pander in the blue. We got Steve Pander, very talented pyro. We got Zoop, bomber soldier extraordinaire. We got the super famous Hildreth. He's going to be playing Demo Man, I believe, currently a scout. We got Pidux. We got Quad on scout, who is pretty good, solid, it's going to be playing as well. Fool is on Medic, the Junan Pander, fairly competent player, plays everything well. Looks like he's tagged up as Engineer right now. We got Mr. Epic on Sniper as we are about to go live. We are indeed live, just real quick on the ET roster of evil as Engineer Cozen as Demo Gra uh, Ash is on Soldier, tagged up as Golden Brown Bear, Kill em All on Heavy, Hard Ash Johnny is Pyro, Arthur is Medic, Ash... Oh wait, Ash is on Scout, I'm confused now, Akuma, one of the best spies, is uh, Spy, and of course Paradox on Sniper. So, so what do we see on action? Two, three, four down for the Americans already this early in the game, and uh, High Pander still alive, just lost Hildreth to... Kill them all, the heavy. We got Quad here working the pistol I fear. Mr. Epic taking down the Paradox. That is the sniper for the Americans. And it looks like it's gonna be a first cap here. Very aggressive mid fight here from uh, High Pander. They were also first on the point, I believe. Oh! Zuber taking out Kill them all. Uh, the heavy. Arthur. Yeah, Arthur getting taken out there to snipe down. So no med for Red Team. Blue holding strong. They do have the Zuber ready to go and just holding on the point. So yeah, High Pander coming out there. Very strong. Hildreth with some big frags in the very beginning. Interesting choice um, there from Mr. Epic actually running the Machina. So. Yeah, what do you think about that, Mr. Sniper? Well, I think he wants to know, let the enemy know where he is at at all times. To be scary, I guess. Quad here. Oh, Ruber on the scout here, coming in here, flashing it over. Nice uh, play here by uh, High Pander. Oh, wow, look at the amount of dead for uh, the Americans right now. Oh, they're wow. struggling right now. That, uh, yeah, was not a good uh, positioning for the uh, ET. High Pander was able to come in from the left, like you said, pop the Uber on the scout. Just get in there, be very aggressive, flank him from, be, from the side. Uh, we'll see how ET recovers, but this uh, first minute just not looking good out of the North Americans. Well, but I always say if the first round goes not as planned, it was a warm-up round, you know, pre-game after pre-game is what I like to say, because that's usually the case sometimes. Player players just tend to take a lot to get going, and now it looks like the Americans are going to capture the middle point here, so it looks like they've started to warm up here. Oh, Zub with a bomb hit. It's not going to get uh, anything, I think. Nope. Yeah, I did a little damage to Arthur right there, and a little bit of downtime while we'll talk about this class choice for ET. Some very interesting choices, decisions for players to be running different classes that I have never seen them on before. So uh, this could contribute, but we'll see as Arthur as Med has about 100% ready to counter this blue uber. <laughs> nice work there by Akuma, snatching the sandwich and stabbing the sniper. Thank you. So we have an uber exchange here. Looks like the Americans will come out of that one uh, slightly behind. Or slightly ahead, rather, because they did pop first. Did not lose their medic. And they 
are holding the midpoint still. Hardash Johnny was doing some good reflect work there, but he does go down as he took a ton of damage solid getting that pistol. Hildreth following up with 2k right there, killing Kill em All and Paradox, so big threats out of the picture right there, and only 4 up for this ET team, as Hypander successfully pushing forward. Now I've got to wonder, did you watch the Hypander game, I think this was for UGC last season, where they ran Quick Fix the entire time on Viaduct? Uh, I believe so. I think also <laughs> Solgood did that as well. Or kill switch? Yeah, I don't remember. It was, it was a lot of quick, was, quick fixing. It was absolute insanity. Um, I'm surprised. Well, I'm not surprised, but I'd be interested to see if they go for that here, because um, it's a very interesting strategy. But I think right now, just playing it straight is working against these uh, North Americans because uh, ET just can't get the get out of their spawn area right now. Even though they did get some time on the clock. Kill them all, punching solid in the face yeah. with the fists of steel, <laughs> which is a map that has been played a lot lately, and. Um, yeah, it like, seems like the Americans are struggling to get their footing right. I mean, uh, Hypander is just being so aggressive, and they seem to be winning most of the fights here. So this is going to be pretty tough. Also, yeah, the Uber uh, is popped here. on the points. Yep. A nice force by Golden Brown Bear, uh, who I'm mistaken called Ash before, but no, Ash is definitely on scout. Uh, Heavy does go down, Pegasus didn't get any of that flash, mostly Hild was getting that uber and pushing forward, but uh, we'll see if it can be enough as Red regrouping a little bit as these heavier players for Hypander going down, fully pushed back because he takes a ton of damage right there as Hardash Johnny coming in, but he does go down as well. Meanwhile, ET's Heavy can't do this and may just be up to Akuma right here on point, but he does have to dead ring out of that. Yeah, Solid here just playing the power of uh, properly used revolver. It's nothing we see too often in uh, Highlander. Cap is just for the Americans right now, so if I just take a look at the stats here, yeah, they're kind of behind. Also interesting fact, Pidox, the heavy four high panner, is also now so, uh, at the bottom of his team, so he is just currently in the back, just helping with the chip damage. And Fool did go down to something, I didn't actually see that, but he went down. I think so. it was a backstab. I heard the noise. That means Arthur's going to have a nice advantage right here, but they have to get on the point, otherwise that is all for naught. Really nobody there for ET, and that is going to be first round win for the European Hypander. Go blue team! So what is Hypander doing right here that ET is not? Well, uh, if you look at the stats here, they're pretty even. Like, actually Kill em All had the most kills than uh, Kozen, which is the uh, which is the demo for uh, the Americans. Not that far behind Hildreth, so uh, I guess it's just positioning and engagement damage-wise and kill-wise pretty much the same, but they just can get the capture time right. So yeah, oh, it looks like the engagement is starting to favor uh, the Americans right now, as they do have a number of yeah. here. Quite a lot of players going down for Hypander right now, so yeah, they're definitely going to cap this and come out of this engagement, so very a much better engagement from there the second round. The They're also first. running they also running crits, which is really interesting. Um, they do have it ready. It looks like Kozen is reloading. Um, we'll see if that crits has popped soon, but Fool has that 100% uber already. Yeah, He'll just so. getting taken down by a snipe by Paradox right there. Huge plays. Uh, no demo man to bring in this uber, so Chris is just holding here on the point. They really need to pop this, though. Yeah. Too late. Uber like, oh, Pyro's on the medic. Medic's on Don't fire. worry, Hardash Johnny is there to uh, reflect it, doing a good job keeping his med alive. Oh yeah. And Arthur's oh, here comes the pyro, still not done. That's Steve. Steve the pyro. Steve get taken out. Chris. Oh. Chris is popped. Uh, Kozen able to take down the engineer, but he goes down to a headshot as Mr. Epic connects. Chris just gets very little uh, tail end of Johnny, but uh, as Pyro is not able to do too much with it because nobody is around, so High Panther is able to come back and take that point. But to over about 50 seconds uh, on the clock for like ET. This double bombing action here, bombed by both, uh, well, kind of bombed by Hildreth and the soldier as well, doing a lot of damage here, and as a result, a lot of the players on the red team are, are dead and just respawning right now. Yeah, even with that crits, uh, ET wasn't able to uh, fall back into a position where they were safe from the flank and aggression of blue team, because uh, remember, Hypander didn't have any uh, uber or anything, but they just pushed forward with just sheer aggression um, to uh, bring ET back and get those frags that uh, almost completely wiped ET. Another bomb coming in here, pressuring the medic. Oh, whoa! <laughs> that was a bunch of death right there. That heavy. indeed was. Yeah, the heavy did get killed, Ref. Of course, that is kill them all. Did get Hildreth, but they're uh, currently behind here, and Fool has a full Uber, and uh, they're just gonna go with this Crit Screen, and they need to get like a lucky rocket or a lucky uh, Crit Screen and get the medic to a drop here. 
Otherwise, uh, Crits versus Uber is a very hard matchup if uh, Uber is pops. I would like to see more bombing action from the uh, North American soldier, Golden Brown Bear, who I have to admit I'm not as familiar with as I am Ash, who is usually ET's uh, soldier, and he's just an excellent black box soldier. Um, he was doing huge amounts of work on steel last week. Uber is popped for blue as red. Crits is popped. Arthur going down immediately. Really nice stickies there from, Co uh, from Hildred to connect. Um, and we'll see if E.T. is going to be able to regroup from this, but really not a whole lot of pressure on the blue med, and I think that's making a big difference here. Yeah, this uh, red soldier, not the luckiest with these jumps. They're being very much pressured by Hildreth. And I have to say, like, Hildreth and Zub are having very good coordination. They're always jumping at the same time and doing, uh, you know, a lot of uh, damage that way. And they do get the kills, and that leaves uh, the medic still in the advantage of uh, Uber, in terms of Uber, is what I mean. Well, let's see if they Another can Another interesting... Go ahead. Another one of the interesting class choices I was thinking for uh, E.T. is Kozin on Dumbaman, which I've never seen before uh, him play that before. Oh, Arthur going down right there. Oh my goodness, and Golden Brownberg going down too. Hildreth is just not missing with these stickies. Um, but as I was going to say, Kozin is usually a medic main. Arthur, who is on medic now, is usually a heavy main. So it's all kind of discombobulated uh, roster for E.T. And we'll see if they change things up, because right now just not going in their favor. Hildreth does go down to a headshot right there. Uh, so demo man threat away for them time being, but that Uber is ready for fool and High Panda is ready to defend these last 25 seconds. I like how Solid was just instantly on the sniper paradox as soon as he got the kill on the, the double. It's a very nice uh, responsive play there. You can see your paradox. Mm. Oh, is he gonna get Pidox? Yep, gets Pidox and then gets taken off by Zub. I think Zub has been doing a great job of also shutting down the sniper this game. He's being incredibly annoying as a soldier and that's a good thing. Yes, absolutely. We do have this last minute push from ET. They have the numbers. They will be able to retake this point, and they do have an uber advantage. Uh, just need to stay on this point. It looks like John is just dancing back and forth. He doesn't want to get sniped, and they do succeed in getting the point. But two minutes left on the clock. Do you think ET can pull off a round win here? Well, if they defend for two minutes, then absolutely they can. <laughs> Fool is on well, the quick you. fix, by the way, and Arthur has a full crit oh, boy. They need oh, boy. to chain crit screens to stay in the lead. And this is very risky business right here. High risk, high reward. Big chance of success and the low chance of success and high risk of failure. Uh, but they've, they've got to pop this. They've got oh, to be aggressive Zoop. with this. Oh no. Red Med did take a little bit of damage right there, but Arthur manages to stay alive. Oh, they, manages to not pop his crits. They lost their head. Oh, the medic's disconnected. This is bad. Oh no. Did Remember, it is overtime for High Pander, so all yeah. you have to do is once and that. Yeah. That is 2-0, and in ETF 2L rules, we go to three round wins, and then we'll go on to our second map. But um, ET has got to get something going here. They need to be aggressive. They need to match this aggression. Top of the last round was the Scout Ash from the American team. Hildreth got nine I... kills with Kozen with uh, Pidox and Mr. Epic are all with eight. But also Hildreth has like three thousand, almost 4,000 damage, while his Kozen was uh, 2006. So quite the amount of difference in damage output there from the different oh, boy. I'm just not understanding some of these class cho changes or choices, but um, I'm sure there's reasoning behind this because these are all very experienced uh, Highlander players. And speaking of that, they do a great job of taking High Panther down a notch, only three up. Now High Panther getting some of these respawns, Hildreth up and just spamming the point with stickies does manage to uh, take down a sentry gun of Evil. Didn't say much about these engineers, but Evil and Majunin, I would say some of the top NGs in Highlander these yeah. days. Majunin especially, I played a lot with him public games as well when he's just waiting for, I guess, pickup games or whatever he does. He's just, he got incredible game sense and just knows when to go and already here he's being aggressive. Uh, did get taken out, but you know, he's an engineer. It's like, you can be excused. It's kind of yeah. like a soldier suiciding in. We do finally have this crits popped in an aggressive way. Kozen taking down Pidox right there. Uh, I think that's the only kill he's getting because Blue Med is safely nestled away. Another big bomb in from Zub who's just suiciding constantly. And of course you can forgive him for that because he's Whoa. doing excellent work. <laughs> Quad there actually hugged the dome and took a pipe to the face and Solid finished off uh, Paradox and Kozen with his revolver and Ash. Solid here not really needing a knife, I think, at this point. I mean, he could uh, swap the <laughs> knife for an additional revolver, so he can go like uh, Gunslinger style, I guess, two revolvers. Knives are too mainstream. Hyperator does come back and take the point, but remember they are running that quick fix. They do have this 100%, so Fool can pop that whenever he so desires. A big bomb in from Golden Brown Bear, but he gets taken out by Pidex right there. He's just spun up, ready and waiting. No Pyro for Hypander right now, so that means uh, 
Golden and potentially uh, Kozen could do some jumping business here, but uh, not electing to do that. Arthur still on 88%. I'm not sure what he is doing. Is he... Okay, he's just starting to build now, and here comes Squad. Zub as well, 4 health. Yeah, Medic gets taken out. Oh, man. Simply, like, their flank is just so strong right now from High Pander. They're always working together. Oh, Zubair barely not getting the... Getting the health back there. Uh, we'll s I, I I don't know what's uh, what's going on here with ET. They're just not working together. They're just not uh, protecting Arthur as or their their medic. Yeah, Arthur as well as I could. Could be. I'm so used to Arthur being heavy. It's so weird. Why is Kozen not playing medic? I'm so confused right now. But uh, they're they're putting together a less. They have less than two minutes on the clock. So definitely possible to come back here and force this into another round before we go to Gully Wash. But Zoob pressuring in on the cliff right there, taking yeah. out Paradox. And now he's in on the med. Yeah, right before that, uh, Paradox actually killed Heldreth, and like, on demand, he's like the delivery boy, like, you, if you kill the medic or anyone as a sniper, you order Zoo for a bomb in it within the next 30 seconds, is pretty much what happens. Quick fix going off, uh, Ritz Creek about to hit Arthur right now, and they have it popped. Finally, they pop it aggressively right when they get it through. They, they take down the heavy. Medic is left alone. Akuma coming in, finishes off Fool right there. And here comes ET, able to push back in. Uh, but on cue is Zub pressuring the mad. Oh! Kozen with some great anticipation stickies to take out Zub right there. Save Arthur, and they will have a crit advantage. I also want to emphasize that Solid was also around when that happens. And he's not even going to zap the uh, mini sentry to avoid uh, letting them know where he is. Oh, but he feeds the medic 25% Uber. Oh, that was a bit of a mistake there. Getting a bit over eager. And now Arthur's going to have another quick fix at uh, a crit screen. That's pretty early. Popped on Kozen. Oh, this is bad for Hypander. Oh, but just no stickies connecting right there. Some pills being thrown about, but Steve able to do a nice reflect, keep himself alive. Maybe a few of his teammates. But I think uh, I think ET absolutely did the right thing right there, popping that crits immediately. The last two times they've gotten that crits, they popped it right away, and they they've got oh. to continue with that trend if they want to take a round here. What would you what you see? Yeah, it seems that you know the Americans are really having trouble uh, protecting their medic, like you said. Like the flank just constantly keeps running by, and the medic just kind of runs off and hides by himself, kind of disconnected from his team. And that's kind of been the story throughout this entire match, really. Arthur here with a bob to have another uh, crit screen here. We have a bombing from Zub. No, Zub is dead, so no uh, bomb deliveries just yet. 45 seconds left on the clock, and this is the least amount of time that ET has had, so they are very anxious yeah. oh, to get their first round win here. Huge heads up by Mr. Epic, taking down uh, Kill em All, the heavy for the Americans. That is a huge pick indeed. They have a full crit screen. The they side. need to chain this to get the advantage, but oh, Mr. Epic is watching. Back on the regular sniper, does not want to give away his position just yet. Crits is popped. Kozen takes down Steve Pander, but uh, we'll see if he can't get anything. They just don't want to be aggressive with this. They can't overextend. They can't lose this point because this is the most momentum they've had yet in this match. So they're just trying to stay alive, oh. trying to keep those heals up. Okay. Paradox going down right there, yeah. Akuma missed the backstab on Hildreth there. That was unfortunate. Ooh. Yeah, nice that is response huge. from... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, uh, just... Yeah, I'd say nice response right there from High Pander, I think, is uh, what you're going for. Shall yeah. we finish each other's... I was just going to say, like, from the sniper, oh. they were behind and then he switched to loadout. I think that's a... Uh, you don't really see that many snipers or other classes do that as much as they should, because, like, if you're behind, then you should change your loadout because something isn't working and stuff like that, so... Oh, uh, we actually did oh. see that from Bull, who drops Uber! Kozen connecting with the crit sticky Kozen. Oh my goodness, what perfection right there. Zub Fool actually in. had 100% Uber. They had changed right there. Oh, Zoob gets taken down. Arthur's still alive. He needs to get those overheals on his player so they can get to the point and capture it because it is an overtime. 30 seconds left, though, for High Pander. Uh, yeah. so the oh, sniper is still up and definitely a threat to be focused. Pinnix coming in. He's just clearing off the point, and so is Steve, but Hardash Johnny is there to respond. We'll see if he can finish off this capture. He is all alone on the point. Oh my goodness, he goes down. It is just chaos right now. Everybody on the point. The pan is out. Mr. Epic gets Ash with a pan kill right there, putting the pan in high pander. I don't know. ET has a ton of time on the point, but right now there are a ton of high pander players on the point. ET doesn't look like they're going to be able to get these respawns in time, and that is probably going to be a round win and the third round win for high pander. Mm. That is what you call close, but not close enough. I think if they oh, just man. focus standing on the point and just keeping people off the point, they would have had that in hindsight. Yeah, they had 
So a uh, real missed opportunity right yeah, there. Yeah, I think it just came down to pure positioning at that point. So let's take a look at a stature. Wow, Hildreth, 5,700 damage as opposed to Ghosts. 3,006, and uh, they weren't even running crits. So that is pretty uh, impressive. However, most kills for the Americans, actually. They got the most kills, but did not get the most I think capture it's, time. Like you said, it was their positioning. It was the capture time. It was the the things that ultimately matter in uh, in King of the Hill. I think if we played a best of one more round, I think the Americans would actually be able to take this because it looked like they were stabilizing there. They just lacked the finesse at the end there. I agree, and I think that's a little bit what we saw last weekend when they played It's All Good on Steel. Their second round was much better than their first round. They're getting used to these pings. Um, as far as I know, they weren't screaming or practicing on high ping servers right before the match. So um, that is something you have to adjust to, right? I mean... yeah. Well, not just in in, in a general. Like, class. I, I want to sound like a Zen master and be like, you know, if you want to truly be good, you should uh, try to let certain things not affect you anymore, such as sensitivity on your mouse and lag. Like, those shouldn't affect your play. And that's like Zen. You know, first you have to master the art of being three seconds behind your opponents and still being ahead. Yeah. I mean, you've hard. seen it's <laughs> it's it's definitely possible because uh, I don't want to bring up the. The Highlander Cup, or the Nation's Cup, oh, ETF the the Cup from last Cup. summer. Brag about uh, oh, but I'll bring it up. I mean, uh, North America, or America, there we go, put um, put uh, her best players forward and were just easily dominant in the Nation's Cup last year. Sorry, I'm reading in chat. Kip not doing her homework and going for the excuses. It's not excuses. It's called context. Context, okay. Hildreth. Context. Oh, jeez. Just trying to put everything in context, give everybody the full amount of information. Um, but I know, I mean, the ET team is playing... I, I don't know how to say this, but not as well as they could. But I think that's sort of obvious. So it, it, they're playing surprisingly, and I'm, I'm confused about why they're not doing as well as they could. And, um, yeah, I, that's, that's all I gotta say. I won't defend my North Americans for underperforming, but I will tell everybody what is my theory. Um, so what, is, what does ET have to do right here to, to come back, do you think? Uh, capture five points, I think. I'll stay ahead of that. You are like the John Madden of TF2. State the obvious. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, they need to figure out what is causing them to not be able to do what they want. Because they obviously they have a plan. There's something they want to do, you know? That's usually how most teams go. You have some sort of plan. And when you lose, it's because... Well, duh, I'm just being John Madden, you know, aren't I? I'm <laughs> just being super... When you lose, super... it's because you have less points. No, it's basically because the enemies are stopping you from doing what you want to do. God. And, like, let's say you have a couple of different strategies. Let's say you have, like, three different strategies that you use. That you use and none of them work. Like, they get stopped every time. Like, what do you do then? Do you just go with something? Do you make something up? You kind of have to spot whatever's like, well... The pyro is the key class that stops the bombs from happening, or maybe it's the heavy, you know, has really good tracking aim and stuff like that. Because we've, uh, I talked to a couple of soldiers before, and actually the pyro being picked is actually a very important class, because uh, a good pyro can really stop any kind of bomb from, from happening. And if the pyro is down, well, it's pretty much open skies for uh, demo men and soldiers to jump in and get the medic. Uh, pyro is also great for uh, scout stoppers as well, with the air blast and putting them in the air and stuff, so... It could be like something as trivial yeah. as that, just a simple class, or it could be like the entire team. It's just if if in a one-on-one -on -one situation, if you lose to every single class on the other team, then you should practice more and stuff. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to come out of that one without sounding like a total douche, but that's like the thing when people are are playing better than you do. I think also like. Damage-wise, I think Solid is putting out more damage uh, as a spy because he's using the revolver so much. And having that little extra damage can really help in a lot of situations. Especially if things are even. Like what I mean is like, let's say, yeah. you, have, let's say you have two heavies battling it out, right? Both have healings and stuff, and then you have one spy just shooting one extra bullet. Then the heavy that got shot by the spy bullet will lose, because the damage is the same. And I think their aim is about the just as good as well. So, just minor, minor things. Which is pretty much what separates the best teams and the good teams in top tier. Um, Highlander in general. But we are going live. 
So it is the second map of this uh, match between the North American Electric Temptations and the European High Panders. High Panders taking Viaduct pretty convincingly, and uh, ET looking to come back here with uh, some convincing of their own. Oh, Quad here taking out Colson right off the bat. Demo Man down for the Americans. So that's a huge damage dealing source gone right there. Combo for High Panders sticking together, and oh yeah, their uh, Americans are backing out of there. Yeah, wise choice right there. Losing your demo man is so bad on this rollout to mid yeah. on Gully Wash. We'll see if they can recuperate. It looks like uh, Golden Brown Bear trying to get in there behind the flanks, but he goes down to a nice headshot from Solid. Again, running, or it looks like he's running that. Uh, he's that, he's uh, what we massacre. call a spiper right now. He's, using, he's so good a with spiper. the Spiper. Yeah. A spiper. <laughs> I like it. But it sounds weird in my mouth. We'll, we'll, we'll see about this. Uh, anyway, we did have the Uber <laughs> popped. For that both is some sides. nice air blasting there. Uh, that is uh, the by the uh, American contested. Pyro there. Hard ass Johnny that just slowing the medic down back in the hole. Uh, unfortunately, it's not enough to stop this high pander team who are just uh, super, super aggressive. Don't even need that Uber, really, just with his overheals. And uh, basically, Hildreth putting out crazy amounts of damage, or not damage, but spam in the upper attic area to prevent Evil from wow. building anything I'm there. I'm the quad cam right now, and he's super far forward. He's really doing his scouting job. They got full information where everybody is right now. They got full control of the situation, so... Uh here, I think uh, I think High Panther's just gonna poke and prod until they get an Uber, and then they're gonna go, which is exactly what they should do here. Kildreth taking on uh, Golden, uh, though as the soldier simply can't catch a break. Yeah, nice Uber advantage right here. High Panther's actually building a little bit, so uh, well, wait, they were until Quad goes down. Um, he did have that Boston Basher out, so the. The Uber advantage is there about 30%, but they're going to have to act fast because Arthur is about 70 yeah. right now. It looks now. like they're just going to go. Going to send a Pyrene first. It's a very good strategy. Pyrene first to deal with the air blasts and uh, Demolin as well. Their heavy is on the flank here. Interesting choice of uh, positioning here. And it, they didn't get that much with that, actually. They have Hildreth in the front there, and uh, it looks like can it come around Ooh. for a rebound? Hildreth uh, went down right there as he really didn't have those overheals and was kind of targeted. Arthur now with this 100% uber and only 5 up out of uh, the high Panther team could potentially push out right here, but looks like they're going to play it safe. Got a forward sniper or are they? Battle uh, solid here, that's something. That's one guy you don't want to face one on one as a, as a sniper. Looks like the red team that is Electric Temptations are taking Lobby and actually do pop this Uber, so it looks like they are going to contest a second right here. Oh, Kozen cannot get any stickies down, just uh, some nice reflecting from Steven. And oh, as Kozen was pushing forward, he didn't look behind him, and in comes the NG. Uh, N Union, as I've Union. been told in chat. N Union getting the, the medic pick right there, and now only four up for red. Uh, a little bit of overextension and a little bit of no defense going on. Yeah, Uber pops. Great attack. There's only two people up. Not going to be enough. And High Panther takes the first round here. So let's what do you see. think of what? ET pushing out right there when they had that Uber? Well, uh, it's either you defend and you lose, and you attack and you lose faster. So I guess they just wanted you, you round and maybe not lose Kozen right off the bat. I'm going to watch the Kozen cam right again. And yeah, he's not going to go all by himself. Going a different route this time. Wise decision. He's going to go and uh, yeah, being back to with his team here, being very close together, working as a unit. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get the proper positional advantage out of this. Yeah, I think the ET team right there was trying to match aggression with aggression, but they just didn't get the medic pick, which is huge because it just uh, handed an uber to the enemy team who was able to easily walk in. Uh, we do see Kozen staying alive right here as Hildreth goes down, so High Pander now losing some of their bigger players. Pedic's going down too, but not before Arthur gets taken out. Didn't see what took him down there, and Ash right now, the only one live before yeah, ET. Yeah, get everyone. That's a scout. He gets the sniper, and they're probably going to get the, the spy here as well. Yeah, takes out. That's a two for one there. Two support classes down. Nice work by Ash. Just getting wherever he can. So just trying to see what uh, they're doing here. Oh, yeah, they're just going to go and get... Uh, oh, here comes a super tall bomb here from the soldier, and he goes cratering down to the ground. Golden Brown uh, not able to do too much with that. Time has been added. It's, uh, here. Oh, he could potentially get a big drop on the medic here if he doesn't get spotted. Let's see if any human spots him or, or hears him. Nope. Um, 
So, sorry for the absence. I was just apparently being a dictator in stream and didn't even realize where I was clicking. Anyway, we're coming into last right here. Arthur is about 75%. He's all alone, not healing. Oh my goodness. And now Johnny drops down. That's not good. And even though Red had a bit of uh, players still up, they were just not in a position to stop that capture. And apparently they forgot to load the proper config because the round stopped ah, okay. too. Well, we, but we uh, can take a look at the last round stats. Forgot to do that the first round. Yeah, Kozen here at the top damage, and uh, yeah, most kills out of the uh, red team, but uh, still, you know, Nightbender comes out on top. I guess they're not killing the right people. But yeah, I think also Golden yeah. Brown is having a really hard time doing things as a soldier. I've yet to see any really successful bombs for him, while as the opposing soldier, Zub is just constantly doing a lot of damage over and over and over, and it's just pretty hard to stop at this point. I honestly, I think it's time to mix up classes, and I don't know why ET has waited so long. Yeah, I'm not sure. But Maybe they're like playing uh, Ace or something? They have an Ace up their sleeve, and they're like, ha, ah, we're gonna play our proper classes now! Just kidding! But it's kinda late to do that now, I think. Cause you well, get it does look like kill him all is on Demo Man. <laughs> So maybe Arthur needs to go heavy, Kozen goes Medic, Ash, and Golden Brown Bear switch. That would be my suggestion. I think it's just a but, joy uh, to watch uh, Zoo play here. He has just such good game is, sense yeah. and pred uh, prediction skills. The way he uh, he gets the job done. Like uh, yeah. any American soldier would. Except he's European <laughs> playing an American soldier, so yeah. And I think uh, Hildreth um, really had a great game on Viaduct yeah. last uh, last round, last map, just doing amazing amounts of damage. We'll see those stats after this one is completed, but I'm sure he's going to repeat that because he does love, uh, I think, the side 5 CPs just as much as King of the Hills. I've seen him on, um, on oh, what's that one called? Process, there you go. The map I hate. Uh, but he also did uh, huge amounts of work on that as well with this Hyperander team last time. I I've seen him in action. So... I mean, something has to change and something radical needs to change for this yeah. uh, ET team to, to come back. But on the other hand, Hypander is one of the best coming in second. Yeah, their flank is just so strong and they're like, uh, I guess, tranquil like a river, I guess, in a way. Like, if they lose someone, they kind of just change it up a bit and it still works. So we are going live on a new round here. And I'll be watching the Earth Cam this time around. I will second. join you in that because he is a master of these rollouts. He was actually whiffed in the beginning there. Most uh, double men get really angry when they get uh, whiffed to mid. But he seemed to be handling it pretty well. Oh, gets a body shot there, taking a lot of damage here. But yeah, he's still there. Gets oh, back up with his going medic. down to a headshot oh. though, so no demo for ET. This mid fight's almost as good as over. And here comes, well, Zub already back from uh, doing some damage work. I believe Quad is down, so that's no more scout. Yeah, here comes Zub jumping in. He's going to be stopped by a mini sentry here. Bane of uh, yeah. everyone's existence. <laughs> Except Engineer is doing some dice work right there. Arthur uh, staying alive because of that mini sentry. I would uh, go so far as to argue, but Evil does get sniped and his mini is soon to follow. Arthur, though, does have that 100% Uber up and uh, we'll be able to pop this as Blue coming in here being aggressive as always. I'm gonna watch the uh, zoo cam. As, uh, well, we actually have a golden uh, brown we here. He's actually behind the combo. Uh, no. Yeah, I know. Behind his own that. combo. Look, they actually rolled around there. <laughs> I thought it was going to go back and get him, but he seems to just be waiting. Oh, here comes Zoob! Leaving uh, oh. the medic pretty weak. Heavy goes down. The sight light of a sniper. And the uh, medic is still alive. Look at Niyuna oh, just coming just in and just dropping kidding. the medic. Wow. Not really dropping the medic. The second med pick. Oh, Niyuna. What? What is he even doing right there? He was second uh, in terms of points on the first, I don't know, half, I guess we'll call it. Um, just doing lots of work on this on this 5CP as engineers I can have a bit of fun with, I guess. Yeah, and I think also, like, your uh, the classes that's supposed to shut down the flanks. I mean, if an engineer are able to get close to your combo, uh, your flanks are pretty weak, I have to say. Uh, an engineer yeah. at this level of play should not have the luxury of hugging a medic of the enemy team. Paradox here getting a nice headhawk on Pidox, that's P and D's and X's in the same name, going down to the other. And uh, they are holding the second point for now. For now, keyword right there, because yeah, Fool does have a 
bit of an uber advantage. Yeah, uh, right now, Red just cramming towards Choke. We'll see if uh, that uh, proves to be the wise choice. Oh yeah, Ash here in the here. corner. Oh yeah, they did the get solid. That's the spice, so no more spice shenanigans. Mini sentries are good against the mini sentries. Interesting, Blue Uber popped right there on the scout, uh, and he was not able to get through as Johnny just did some nice denial with that uh, reflect. And yeah. uh, Blue Uber not doing anything right there. In fact, Arthur is actually since he healing is going to have a little have a bit choice. of advantage. Neither team has Uber. And they have a number advantage. It's not the biggest advantage, but there's a little bit. Do they take it or do they wait? It looks like they're. Going I mean, to it's wait. the flank classes that are down. It's NG. It's the scout. Why not? Whoa, go they're going for drop down here. Well, the heavy well, is at least. Did. We got a flanking heavy coming. Here. Oh, that he has not been spotted yet. Kill them all coming in, or he did get spotted by the pyro, and he's on fire. And he goes down, but that was a valiant effort. Okay. Uh, um, that pretty much leaves his medic with just the pyro, and down he goes to a headshot. Medic Mr. With Epic. Shot to the head, exactly. Yeah, so, Mr. Epic just, by the way, has gone crazy. He got like yeah. three or four shots in a row, um, leading right now the scoreboard. There's back cap going on. That is the sniper paradox trying to do something of his own, but in comes solid with that ambassador headshot, and nobody right now on High Pander is missing. There's some sort of crazy European hacks going on here, and Fool has this 100% uber. There's only a few up right here. Not a few, a handful, a dozen or so. Uh, that's not right at all. Um, for defense, but they can't get anything going. Kozen is in on the point, but he's not able to do it by himself, and that three points is 3 0. Yeah, 3 0. Let's take a look at the stats here and uh, see how well. Oh, yeah. Hildreth, top damage, Pidox second. And yeah, Mr. Epic, most kills this round. There you Not go. Not surprising at all. Let's watch the Mr. Epic cam on the rollout here. He seems to be pretty good at stopping the demo man as soon as he comes to the middle point. Got some good pressure. Go ahead. Oh, Ash getting in on Hildreth and actually takes down the demo man right there with his pistol. So able to target Hildreth. Quad is down as well. So two of those uh, classes that have been giving the American team a, a pain in the neck are out of this mid fight. And ET is pretty much uh, looks like pushing forward and maybe able to capture it for the first time this uh, this match. Yeah, the uh, scout Ash actually ran that round and I got Mr. Epic. So that's a very vital choice there because he did so much work the last round. So just set a class to just shut down the sniper. Might uh, you know cut them some slack and they'll let them be able to move around here. Uber exchange coming out. Let's see who comes out on top of this one. Both air blasting here. Oh, red pyro goes down. Oh, American medic is in trouble. Here comes uh, Yunin. Third medic pick. Uh, yep. That we counted so far for the NG of High Pander. Ridiculous. Only three up right now. Golden Brownbird trying to get a pick on the fool, but he goes down. As Zub, not only good at killing medics, but also really good at protecting his own. Yeah, most definitely. And it looks like it's going to be a recap of uh, the middle point here for High Pander. So yeah, if they're just going to stack the point and goes Death Ball, or if they're going to split it up. So what they decide to do. I guess they're just going to wait on the middle point with the rest of the team here. Quad and a Solid are joining the fray. Strapping in the front here. And look at Zoob protecting the uh, sniper here. Is he still around? Is Zoob? <laughs> Zoob? Yeah, Zoob's still helping. You see, they're, they're working together. Yep. This is pretty good. If anyone comes and tries to get the sniper, he will get them. Uh, How unusual is that for having your soldier as kind of your wingman as a sniper? Well, it's in high levels of play shouldn't be that uncommon, but it's like something that people haven't really discovered just yet. Yeah, see that? Well, he, Mr. Epic did go down, but uh, yeah, Zub, here, have, Zub can't really get past her because of the mini sentry. Uh, but it looks like they're going to go with three people at the same time, and uh, that works as well. Uh, yeah, Red taking a lot of casualties right there. Only three up. They are getting these respawns. Uh, we'll see if uh, they can get them in time to defend last, because second is pretty much a foregone conclusion at this point. Yeah, so uh, let's look at uh, the bunker attempt here. The bunker, of course, being a solid defense here. Let's see if he's going to scrape together, kill them all in the front here. Uh, Ipender hasn't taken a lobby yet, but let's see how long they can be able to take this. Taking a bit of damage from Hildred there, and yeah, it looks like they're backing up. And also on the quick fix. That is interesting. A lot of players dead for uh, the Americans right now. This is not looking good for them. Indeed. Uh, understatement, if you will. Oh, um, Kozen! Takes down the medic, Arthur, uh, fool. I mean, so huge uber advantage here for uh, them, but it didn't matter. I pander capped anyway. So I'm confused. Kozen's on sniper. Akuma has gone demo man, and our spy is now paradox. That makes no sense to me. Those are the classes that didn't need to change. They were doing fine. 
ET, are you drunk? What is going on here? It makes no sense. And they're just getting crucified. It is 4-0. Um, and now ETF 2L will say that if it goes 5-0, right, the match is over. Yeah, and I think that's the way this game is going to go, unfortunately. If you just look at how incredibly dominant High Panda has been playing, their teamwork has just been top-notch. Their flank is rock solid, and uh, yeah, almost a total wipe here from the Americans. Only Akuma left. Oh my god, Hildred's getting the Kaber on a Paradox. Yeah, Get the Kaber on the Spy. At this like, why point, not? why not, you know? Why yeah. Not? Just embarrass them further. Oh my goodness. Second yet to be capped, even though there's a good bit of Euro presence right there. They're just kind of having fun with the uh, with this last push, they're, making they're sure like it's. They're like a cat playing with a rat at this point. They're just like horribly murdering them ever so slowly. Oh god, it's so. almost painful, but uh, in fact, it is incredibly painful. Blue Uber actually a little early. They are in the lobby trying to take that over. Kind of a um, force, kind of, kind of. Kind of? I mean, if you want to be optimistic about it for yeah. mm, the American team, yeah, force right there. And now they do have this Uber advantage. We'll see. Yeah, they the have fix. no so choice have to but make to make something with oh, this it's and quick not get back capped. Oh my goodness. Uh, quick fix, yeah, we'll see. Now they're going to be play, play, playing passively. They're running back uh, to the they point. They can't, can't afford this at this point. They played uh, passive before and it didn't work out. They even got a medic drop and they still capped the point. So look at Steve, Steve Pander. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay, Heavy was blocking the path, but he's still alive. He's still there. Just running around. Steve Pander. Ten health. Now he's going to get caught out. Now he's still alive. Solid coming oh. in from behind and distracting the combo there Dude, for a minute. That was so close to a medic drop. Holy. Oh my god. That was amazing by him and not so amazing by the Americans not being able to deal with a pyro. Oh, of course, yeah. a pyro is Steve, though, so that's a pretty big deal. Electric Temptation just kind of running around with their heads cut off in lobby, not really sure where to hold, what to do. They already popped their quick fix. In comes a blue Uber. There's no way they're going to be able to hold this, especially with uh, Hildreth getting some of these stickies. He has not missed once, it feels like. This, uh, oh, brings out the caber, not able to get Killamol, because Killamol goes down to the heavy pitox. Oh my goodness, Red is uh, turtled in here at here last, but... Oh, in comes Zoob, gets one shot, gets another shot, needs to finish off Arthur, who has 48 health, but gets back to spawn just in time. Nijunen uh, being a bit of a flanking near, going around the side, around the back, putting some cap time on the point and kind of forcing them to be passive, which is exactly what Hypander wants. And a flanking near, I like that, I'm gonna use that. That's evil. Yeah, I'm actually surprised Evil has a god level 3 is right here. Just turtle at last. Don't let them get one more. Just uh, for sake of American pride right here. But uh, he's still in those minis. Still trying to uh, be aggressive right here. And he's actually in a like, lobby trying to push out. But I say turtle and... Yeah, I don't know. They're pushing out, but they're not capping the point, though. It looks like they have a scout dedicated to do the, doing that and nothing else. Uh, Mr. Epic around the side here. And oh, actually, Quad here as well. Does get taken out. And they do get the cap on the second point here. Oh my what? god! What? Basically, what uh, the medic wanted. Arthur wanted to check if Mr. Epic's uh, sniper's. like, the barrel was clean. So he peeked oh, inside it and they got shot. In wow. Place. Yeah, that is a major medic mistake right there. Very well played by Mr. Epic. That yes. was epic. You know, he lives up to his name. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty darn epic right there. Hey, is there Mrs. Epic? Um, that was amazing. Jeez, and kind of just takes the air out of the balloon of this uh, ET team. They had, they're gonna have a, I think Medic had switched to regular Uber, so they were gonna have a bit of a, at least a bit of a charge right there. Now they have nothing, and are looking at 100% uh, Uber from this Hypander team. Well, you know, it's surprising they still haven't lost it. Maybe just Hypander's just playing for fun at this point. Or maybe they just haven't been able to push this yet. But Arthur is building that Kutzkrieg and Uber is hasn't been popped yet. So I'm just watching the full cam right now to see what they decide to do. They are inching their way forward. Hilder uh, in the front here, not really being pressured. Yeah, yeah they've got to force this Uber pop. Yeah. Come oh, on, they Golden. do! You've you got to get in there, got to get going dirty. They do pop the Uber, but Arthur goes down to the scout who was able to get in there. Not even sure how that happened. Golden Brown Bear coming in does take down Mr. Epic, which I guess is good, but there's not going to be a whole bunch of defense right here for this ET team, especially... Oh, is Evil going down right there? Hard-ass Johnny going down. 
I don't know if ET can hang. Three-man defense, four-man defense actually, with the gentleman returning as High Panther is about to curl himself on the point here. Oh, Hildreth goes down. That might actually oh. stop them, but oh, look who's behind the point. It's the flank near. Flank near in the Union. Can he do it? Coming they have a pyro that's gonna work pyro. nice for air blast. They've got a mini sentry backing up, and oh there you God. go, ladies and gentlemen. How does that happen? Well, you, how does that you send happen? in Steve and you send in the Union, and that's how it happens. That is amazing. I love the pyro energy combination. Wow, wow, wow. Some great plays out of High Pander. Just. And no way ET could. I mean, there's definitely ways ET could. Uh, to combat it, but they just did it. They are just with their head between their legs and not paying any attention. It's like they weren't even in the same match. Uh, it is 5-0, and ETF2L rules say that this is over. Yep, so pretty convincing win from High Pandra, I have to say. They didn't lose a single round, I believe. Correct. ET didn't get one round. I don't know. Do you think ET should be in this in this league uh, against such amazing teams like Hypander? And as we saw last week, it's all good. And Skill Switch and Stacked and other teams that are yeah, going to be well, making their name known. I was defending ET last week and thinking they could come back, but this is just I devastating. I like to talk about teams in, instead of like reputation and lore and more focus on actual performance. And their performance has not been Particularly right. good, especially if you compare it to like High Panda and it's all good and this other team. So just be, like, being playing phenomenally, and I think they just need to um, figure out which classes they're going to play and yeah. kind of take it from there, I guess. I guess so. Um, so we were also uh, before I forget, we're supposed to give a shout out to uh, TF2Pickup.net. I believe it's a pickup site where you can pick up games and play for fun. I think you, both you and me, we have given some voice lines to that site, I believe. <laughs> yes, we have. I also I did, got uh... my friend The Guile from Street Fighter to submit some lines. I'm not sure if they're going to accept his because he has like kind of troubles uh, keeping TF2 related, but he, but he tries. But yeah, definitely check that out if you want to play some Sixes or Highlander with some pickup people in a friendly setting. You can definitely check that out. Uh, any last closing words before we end today's miserable d d d smashing of America? I mean, it was an amazing victory by High Pander. Some really creative plays right there. C creative combinations. Um, I liked it, except for the America losing part. But, you know, may the better team win, and I think they absolutely did in this case. So ET has got to pull something out to uh, to justify their place in this league, which so far doesn't look like they belong. Uh, gotta just put it out there, guys. Do something. or uh, Shit or get out the get off the pot, is what we say in America. Cool. Well, with that <laughs> high note, we're going to end it. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out Black Eye Gaming TV's YouTube for more casts and videos, and check out our schedule for more casts in the future. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you